minister's visit to Egypt, and Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli received uh, his Danish counterpart, Meta Fredriksson, uh, at the Cairo International Airport. The Danish Prime Minister's visit coincides with the celebration of the 65th anniversary of the exchange of diplomatic representation between the two countries. An official reception ceremony was held uh, for the Danish uh, Premier and the accompanying delegation upon her arrival at Cairo airport. It's scheduled that Madbouli and Fredrickson will hold talks to discuss bilateral relations and proposals to strengthen advanced economic cooperation in many areas of common interest. Hello. Welcome back, and uh, we're delighted to be joined over the phone uh, by Ambassador uh, Raouf uh, Saad, the former assistant to the foreign minister. Good afternoon, Mr. Ambassador. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, Ambassador Raouf, uh, as the Danish uh, prime minister, is currently visiting Egypt, and this is coinciding with the uh, 65th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations uh, with Egypt. How do you see the significance of this visit? It is. It is very, in fact, uh, this visit is very significant. In terms of so many tracks that uh, as follows I mean first it's not only uh, that uh, this visit coincides with the 65th anniversary but it is it also coincides with the, the new government this is a new government so it's very important for the new prime minister to, uh, to engage and to uh, consultations with the, the Egyptian government and maybe the private sector and civil society whoever they were uh, is included in the program in order to be exposed to the uh, plans uh, of Egypt uh, for the present and the future in different areas. Second, uh, then the, the Denmark is one of the most advanced countries regarding the climate change and renewable energy, uh, which is an area that has become the priority for the whole world in view of the, you know, what I call the, the, the nature anger and uh, with the, uh, the, the very difficult implications that is inflicting dangerous uh, threats and uh, on, on the economies of the whole world and particularly the developing countries and more particularly on the uh, African countries. Three is that uh, 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 Denmark uh, has very special relationship in terms of two uh, major uh, uh, achievements. One is that the presence of the MERS corporation which is the largest corporation for containers in the world which is present in the Suez Canal region uh, since more than 60 years and they have been a great contributor to the activities of uh, the Suez Canal and for the uh, uh, facilities and uh, uh, and uh, you know the, the new services that are being introduced in the Suez Canal particularly with the new economic zone uh, 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 three or four, they have here a unique uh, initiative which is called uh, the Danish-Egyptian Dialogue Initiative. And uh, this is the only uh, body which uh, is an intergovernment is between the governments of Denmark and Egypt which uh, renders services in, in economic, uh, uh, environmental, social activities and uh, make a, a very good contribution to women and, and the youth uh, uh, people of, of Egypt. And it, it has been there maybe for now more than 16 years. I had the honor to be the chairman and the vice chairman of this initiative since 2008 till 2022. And I have been this initiative growing and, uh, and, and growing in numbers of the uh, attendance of its activities and growing in the number of areas that is covering and coping the, the new developments on the worldwide. One of the important uh, uh, um, areas, for example, is the green transformation, which is very much uh, uh, becoming a, a priority again for Egypt, particularly in view of, you know, the, uh, the holding of the COP28, which has been a landmark in the international efforts in order to combat the complicated uh, climate change. Uh, finally, and our last not least, you know, uh, uh, Denmark has, over the past two or three years, have been showing very special interest investing in Africa. And uh, a few years ago, they have an initiative 
of $1 billion investments in Africa. And their idea was is that they want to get into Africa with a partner. And they, that, uh, they thought that, you know, Egypt is the, the a partner that deserves to be uh, their, their uh, uh, partner in, in this initiative. And this, uh, I think, one of the most important areas where uh, that should receive our uh, attention, particularly in view of our uh, pr the priority we are we give to the African interest, you know, and in, in, in the foreign policy agenda, in view of the uh, what a uh, re-entry to Africa that has stopped President Sisi has assumed the chairmanship of the African Union. And I think we have to seize this opportunity in order to have this, you know, a kind of common or joint investment uh, between the, uh, the uh, funding and investments uh, together with the expertise and the experience of Egypt in different areas, whether economic or social or technological, or even in the energy sector and the, the, the green transformation. Right. As uh, you can see, it's uh, the, the, the country, the Denmark, although a small country, but it is a very important and it, it should be, should receive, you know, the, the, the attention of the, the Egyptian government as well as the private sector in order to develop a uh, uh, progressive interest between the two sides. Right. Well, uh, Ambassador Saad, uh, also a, a press conference was just held and just concluded between uh, uh, President Adel Fattah el-Sisi and uh, his, uh, the Danish uh, Prime Minister. Uh, they discussed uh, means of cooperation in economic fields and they also uh, discussed uh, the human rights file and uh, uh, solutions for uh, illegal migrations. Uh, they uh, discussed also repercussions of the uh, Russian-Ukrainian war on uh, the um, different countries of the world. Also the topic of the Renaissance Dam and its impact on uh, water security in Egypt was discussed during the press conference. How do you see the significance of those topics? Uh, but, but I mean, ha had I been given enough time, I'd a long list of issues, but you have just added very significant and strategic areas, you know, if we are talking about the uh, water security, we are talking about food security, energy security, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it, uh, and, and uh, where if we are talking about the role of Egypt in combating terror, it reflects very much, you know, the centrality, centrality of, of uh, Egypt in view of the Danish eyes, you know, in terms of uh, securing security and peace, uh, whether in the Middle East or the Mediterranean or in Africa. So <coughs> I think this is, this is uh, uh, you know, reflects the, uh, the healthy awareness of the Danish uh, government of, you know, the importance and significance of the Egyptian uh, <coughs> role in, in all these areas, whether <coughs> political or economic or social. Uh, if it comes to human rights, I think, you know, uh, this, the, 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 the Denmark is, um, uh, you can call it a neutral player in this regard. Because in, in other words, they don't uh, use, they don't have a kind of hidden agenda in order to criticize, but they mean their, uh, you know, they care about respect of human rights. I think we have a good answer. Egypt and uh, Denmark inked a number of agreements, uh, economic agreements and investment uh, agreements. Uh, how would you highlight the significance of uh, these agreements and cooperation and investment between Egypt and Denmark? Well, you, you should, yeah, of course, we, we know that, you know, a, a visit like that is uh, always preceded by uh, uh, discussing, you know, all kinds of agreements as so as that in order to prepare for the, their signature. Uh, I think uh, that this visit uh, marks uh, a kind of, I, I don't want to exaggerate, but marks a very, very significant strategic step in developing our relationship with the, between Egypt and Denmark. And uh, I think there is an important uh, uh, player in this regard should be the private sector. It is very important. They know that, you know, with the trend, with the approach of Egypt towards engaging the Egyptian, Arab, and foreign private sector in uh, investments and projects in Egypt, I think we will be able to uh, uh, attract 
uh, you know, the Danish investments, and it is a rich country, by the way. Let me just uh, tell you that uh, something really important that, you know, I have referred to briefly and at the beginning, that, you know, the, the, uh, the Suez Canal economic zone is not just a zone. It is a hub. And a hub, it's, a, it's different from being or, or, or a, a, a waterway. It is a hub, it means it's a center for trade, for distribution services for high tech, so on and so forth. And, you know, uh, the, the advantage of, of this uh, the economic zone that it has no, it has a unique geographic lo location that links between the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. And from there on, you can, uh, you know, uh, you can bring, you know, Europe and Denmark and other countries can bring their uh, industries, their services, and from there on, they export them to East Africa, South Asia, and the Gulf. So that would help very much or contribute to changing the trade and navigation uh, maps. So, uh, and Denmark is one of the most countries that are interested in that uh, kind of, of uh, perception. So I, I feel very much, uh, uh, you know, happy that this uh, visit uh, has taken place. Uh, taking into consideration that I learned from my experience, from my experience, you know, over the past year, uh, 10 years or so, that they bring to Egypt the most uh, uh, significant, uh, sophisticated uh, ambassadors uh, and uh, diplomatic staffs to Egypt, which reflects that, you know, they know that Egypt is not just a, a country in the region, but it is a central country in, in the Middle East, Mediterranean, and the Middle East. Right. Well, uh, Ambassador Saad, uh, also the uh, Danish uh, Prime Minister, uh, Meta Fredriksson, uh, during uh, the press conference, congratulated Egypt for its success in hosting uh, COP27. How do you see uh, the significance of uh, uh, this topic, uh, especially that uh, Egypt is uh, uh, planning to cooperate with uh, Denmark in this field, and especially in the field of uh, uh, energy and um, right and uh, and the the uh, climate change ambassador Saad can you hear me sir right we lost our guest over the phone uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, ambassador Rauf Saad the former assistant to the foreign minister many thanks for your insight and the dear viewers we now go to a short break and we'll be right back Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi meets with world leaders. I'll tell you about the thanks and the gratitude.